All right, so this is the kettlebell bent press. One of the big things about this is to know that this is an advanced technique. Make sure that you have your overhead press and your kettlebell windmills down, right? So once you understand how to properly perform that exercise, we can move on to the bent press. For the bent press, again, you can clean the bell up, keep it in the right position. From here, turn on kind of forward. From here, I'm kind of mixing the press and the windmill at the same time. Now we all know the rack press, right? From here, thumb to my collarbone, up, palm out. So from there, we can do the windmill. So here, shoot my hip out to the side, sinking down to a comfortable depth, back up, right? So we're gonna combine both of those. As I perform the press, my upper body is going down. So the bell itself isn't gonna move that much. So I go from here, nice wide stance. As I shoot my hip to the outside, I'm pressing up as I sink down. Back in, back up. So you can see I'm kind of pressing myself away from the bell instead of pressing the bell away from me. Opposite side, I'm here. As I go to shoot my hip out, press the bell up, here, back down. Big thing about it is you're making your core and shoulder work opposite of each other at similar time. You see I braced on my forearm. This is also an acceptable move if the bell's a little too heavy for the core. On this side it kind of is for me. Here, to here, back up. And that's the kettlebell bent press.